Hey, what's up guys? Martin here and welcome to part 5 of my 5 part tutorial. At least I hope it's a 5 part, otherwise I'll look stupid. Um, before we start, we gotta finish the render, which actually took quite a long time. I should have not put the anti-aliasing as high, but who cares, I was outside anyways. So, um, yeah, this render is almost done and then we're going to go into After Effects and add some final uh, color effects. Um, maybe add some nice motion blur. Uh, and let's see what we can do to make this image really pop. Um, yeah, it's half a minute to fill, I guess. So let's talk um, well, about this graphic. Um, I I'm just filling time here, basically. Um, in the meantime, go check out my DeviantArt uh, account. I'll upload more stuff as I uh, yeah make more stuff. Um, so yeah, you you can check out my work there. I also have a Vimeo account or Vimeo, uh, however you pronounce it, uh, which I upload my uh, 3D stuff on on from now on because the quality there is just that much better uh, than YouTube. No offense YouTube, I still love you guys but meh. Okay let's see how this render is progressing. Um, make sure to check out my DeviantArt profile every now and then. I'll upload some pretty fun stuff there. Uh, my website will be online pretty soon which this is a graphic for um, but more on that later. Let's check the render. Ah, it's done. That's that's good news. So, without further ado, we'll just shut this down. Uh, pro tip, save as much as you can, because if your PC crashes, um, well, you don't want that, so. And let's go to my, oops, oops. Uh, where did I put it? Tutorial, right here. Uh, these are the... <laughs> Tutorial parts, one I'm, uh, one I'm recording right now. Um, let's just drag this file into After Effects and just drag it into a new composition by dragging it to here. Uh, it's to 50% right now, and let's just uh, preview what we've got. That's looking pretty awesome. Actually, that's that's looking really, really good. But we're gonna make it look better, we're gonna add some color effects and have a little bit of fun with it. Um, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with uh, the end result, so let's just move on to about halfway because we're going to introduce some nice coloration to this. First of all, we're going to duplicate the layer. Control duplicate, Control D, uh, a little um, remind the thingy. Uh, and toggle the switches to the transfer modes and put this one to multiply. Um, it's a bit dark, so let's press T for the opacity and bring it down just a bit. Now we're going to make a new adjustment layer by going layer, new uh, adjustment layer and adding magic bullet mojo. Um, this this effect is great, if you don't have it, uh, be sure to get it. It's, it's really awesome and I don't think it's that expensive. Um, just mess with the values a bit because this is getting pretty dark, so let's just um, turn this down quite a lot. Um, to the, you know what, let's just get... Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. On the layer you set to multiply, uh, go to blur and sharpen and add a fast blur effect. And turn it up to about 16-ish. And that, that just gives a, a, a nice glow to it, only it's a bit dark. So we're going to mess with the transfer modes a bit until we can see the tutorial. And let's see, a screen might work, it's a bit on the bright side. But then again we can darken it down by just lowering the opacity a bit. And there we go, that's looking pretty good. Um, let's add a bit more tinting. So it's the white looks a bit more blue, but in a strange way, when white looks blue it looks extra white for some reason. Uh, yeah, I know I might have sound a bit vague there, but um, yeah, people who who use this effect know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's looking pretty good. Now let's add another effect to the adjustment layer, and this is another tip I want to give you from the revisions plugins. 
Uh, it this is a great great uh, plugin, real smart motion blur. Um, it create it creates realistic motion blur to your footage. It actually uh, tracks every pixel and adds blur to it as it moves. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna look good because I've never done this before. I really should practice before I do a tutorial on something, but let's try it out. There we go, and we got some nice motion blur going along. Let's uh, see if we can preview this. I hope it doesn't take too long. Uh, this might take a few seconds. So I'll take a sip of my drink in the meantime. Okay. And as you see, as the motion stops, the motion blur goes away. So it's really easy, realistic motion blur. Um, great effect, also not as expensive as you might think. So uh, check out their website, uh, Revision. And it's they create awesome stuff. Um, yeah, I'm actually quite pleased with this. Um, I don't think I should add a lot more. Um, just... In case you don't have these effects, I'll just shut off the adjustment layer. And let's create a new adjustment layer just to show if you can do it without uh, these effects. So let's go to effects, color correction. Let's give it a bit of curves, curves adjustments just to bring up the contrast a bit. There we go. Then we're going to go effect, color correction color balance might look good and let's add a little bit of blue mid-tones and this is actually looking pretty cool as well uh, on the second layer keep the the blurriness on there might just oops press T and bring the opacity back up to about 60 and add a little bit more contrast in this one no, that's the no. Uh, I'm just I'm just trying to wing it on this one as well. Um, and to create uh, the motion blur uh, without the real smart motion blur, we're going to shut this one off for a second and go to effects, keying, and let's just use a color key and make it white. Add the color tolerance up just a touch, like four. Um, and add a bit of feather. Then we're going to press Ctrl Y or Command Y uh, on on Mac and make a new white solid and place it behind everything. And then toggle the switches again and add some motion blur for the layer and for the composition. And if I did this right, it should show some motion blur now. Oh yeah, let's pre-compose it. Sorry, my bad. Uh, Command Shift C or Control Shift C, and let's just leave it at it. Oops. Move all attributes, and let's call this um, blur. There we go. And let's see if this. Yeah. Hmm. Strangely enough, it doesn't really add the motion blur, so. Oh wait, now you gotta check it. And nope, it doesn't seem to generate any motion blur. Um, so, the colors can be done without um, the plugins, but um, uh, the color can be done without the plugins, but you're really gonna need some, some, um, uh, yeah, motion blur tools to do this. Uh, you could render it out as a proxy but um, and then re-import it wait let me try this one thing um, let's get rid of that change this to screen nope multiply and let's hope the white is gone nope I'm sorry guys uh, you really gotta get a third per uh, third party effects for some good motion blurs so let's change these back and that's looking pretty good. So let's play this once more. And then I'm going to end this tutorial.
Come on. Play. Ah, there it goes. Well, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this. Um, I might have been able to do this in a four-part or three-part tutorial, but I did not. But nonetheless, I hope everybody enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope I could teach some of you a thing or two by making these. Um, if you like these tutorials, please subscribe. Check out my Vimeo account. Uh, check out my DeviantArt account. I'll leave some links in the description. Um, also, I'll also notify this into the uh, description. This is a pretty basic tutorial, but the effect is really nice. So, I hope I helped some of you out. I'm Martin, and see you next time. Click. Bye bye.